Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you can hear that there's baby birds right around the corner, but it is time to talk about zucchini, and I'd like to go ahead and get a bit of zucchini in today. Yeah, one thing about any type of squash, including zucchini, is you can plant them anytime. So, yeah, I'm going to get out here and get everything together, and uh, let's get to work. Okay, I'm going to have to use my big girl voice. The camera is a little bit further away, and there are birds up in this tree trying to outsing me. But what I want to do today is plant zucchini, and I have some black beauty zucchini. Now, I have already topped this bed off probably, I don't know, a week, week and a half ago or so. And we have gotten considerable rain since then, and um, pretty sure you know that nitrogen is a water-soluble mineral. And the more you water it, the more will reach out of your bed. So I'm going to plant these just a little bit differently. I want to put five in each side of this bed, and I want to put two seeds in. <laughs> But I want to add a little bit more nutrition because these beds have been rained on since I put soil in here. So what I'm going to do is dig five holes. And I'm going to put about a half a handful, well, maybe a little less, in each one of the holes. Go ahead and do the five on this side, too. That way, as soon as the seedlings come up and really start getting their roots in, they'll have some good stuff down there to get into. But, then what I'm gonna do is cover that hole back up. I'm gonna put in two seeds. Now when they come up, if there's two in each spot, then I will thin them to the best plant. I don't like thinning plants, but it does lead to better production. All right, we've got those guys in. I have enough in my hand to do the next set. Thank you. 
Okay, I've got all of these guys in here planted. Yeah, Black Beauty is one of our one of our top picks. But now, one thing about zucchini and just about any other squash that you plant is you water in the morning or you water in the evening or both um, is is preferable. Now, if you come out in the in the heat of the day and you see your plants wilting a little bit, do not water them if you have already watered them during the day because you'll end up, you will end up killing them. Um, best thing to do is just give them about as much water as they will take when you do water and you'll notice in the evening as it cools back off they will perk right back up anyway. But I'm going to find them. I have some pinwheels here because the birdies like to take a lot of dirt baths in my boxes. And it only takes these guys a couple of days to come up. So I kind of like to keep them out. These tend to work really well, and they look pretty spinning in the garden. But all I really need to do is get a little bit of water on these, and then I'll be right back. Okay, just a quick look over this end of the garden. You can see how many pinwheels I have up. And chicken commentary in the background. But really glad to have the zucchini in, so I'm going to go ahead and get moving. Okay, we have some rain clouds rolling in, and that's going to be about all I get to do in the garden today. But... Any time spent in the garden is time well spent, and I'm glad for, for every minute I get to play in the dirt. Yeah. Um, zucchini is a staple to have in the garden, and we have so many wonderful ways to use it. I know we have posted recipes up for it before, and um, I'm sure good that we can add a few to that too in the coming year. But yeah, I think the rain's going to go ahead and chase me on in the house, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I have something else wonderful going in the garden. And um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. But yeah, there's plenty growing on in the garden, and really, really happy for it. It not really tickled, and I'm going to be rung in because of the rain, but Mother Nature waters much better than I do. So, yeah, I should just go ahead and let her, let her take the reins for the afternoon, but, yeah. Plenty of birds chirping and chickens commenting in the background, but, yeah, the... It is going to run me in here in just a matter of minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me, and don't forget we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.